We have breaking news on Amazon. Kate Rooney has the details. Kate. Hey there, Morgan. Amazon just announcing its latest version of a custom-designed chip. This is within AWS, Amazon Web Services. It's the fourth generation of an existing semiconductor called Graviton. These are CPUs, so specifically designed for more everyday general-purpose computing. So think of things like running websites and data centers, for example. These are not those AI chips known as GPUs. Executives at Amazon say this newer version brings 30% better performance versus some of the previous generations. Say it uses 60% less energy to process the same workloads. If you compare that with an Intel x86 processor, which is what the vast majority of customers use at this point, all of that, they say, helps keep costs down. Amazon is partnering with ARM for the chip architecture, while AWS is working on its own in-house chips. It still partners with Intel and AMD on CPUs. I asked Dave Brown, AWS's VP of Compute and Networking Services, about that balance. You might call this co-opetition. He does say that those partnerships continue to get deeper, and the customers just want choice. So when the customer comes to AWS, they're able to look at, you know, do they want to use an Intel processor, an AMD processor, an NVIDIA accelerator, or do they look, want to look at one of the custom ones that AWS has? And they typically test them all, um, and they will find the one that works absolutely best for their application. And I think that choice is, is so important for customers, and it allows them to find the one that not only gives them the right performance for what they need, but also at the right price point. And so we do think that uh, choice is a winning strategy. Amazon's AWS has bad news for NVIDIA, as it has recently made a very big announcement and revealed its game-changing Graviton 4 chip. This is a new chip that is supposed to play a very crucial role in the current chip warfare, and it is said to deliver the fascinating performance that all tech companies are so desperate for. In today's video, we will go through Amazon's latest announcement and what it brings to the table. In addition to this, we will discuss its potential influence on Amazon stock. So, don't miss out. But first, if you want to keep up with Amazon's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. And guys, Graviton is still a relatively small portion of the chips that AWS customers use right now. They still mostly rely on Intel and AMD, but it is seen as an area with a lot of potential upside within AWS. Back over to you. Kate, uh, in the grocery store of IT, this is like buying the store brand milk or mac and cheese, <laughs> right? I mean, you, you get a better value, and if the quality is there, it can also be more profitable for the hyperscaler that's providing the chip. Yeah, I like that analogy. It's sort of the Kirkland brand, right? And so they're making a trade-off. I mean, they, the big picture that executives would say is that it's keeping costs down, and that's what AWS customers want in the long run. But it is sort of an experiment at this point. It's a smaller portion of the chips that, that most AWS customers are using. And so they pointed out, I think it was 2 million chips out there, about 50,000 customers. On a, this, it sounds like a big scale, but if you put it in context of overall AWS and how many customers are out there, it is still relatively small. So it's still sort of unproven, but it is a big bet. I mean, this is one side of the business, CPUs and sort of the general computing, but then there are the AI chips that they've got out there. I know you talked to Matt Garman about this with Inferentia and Tranium and the other side of the chip uh, side of this, this coin, but they really, along with other big tech companies, are making a play at in-house chips and really trying to diversify here and sort of trying to strike the balance of still partnering with Intel and AMD, maintaining those relationships, but building their own competitive chips in-house. It's sort of the same dynamic we see with AI as well, and what yeah. they do with Bedrock. Still going to stock that Kraft mac and cheese, too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, for sure. Got to have it all. <laughs> Annie's <laughs> and Kraft. You got to have both. Amazon's new chip, the Graviton 4, has been long awaited, as the Graviton series is generally acclaimed in the tech world. This time, Amazon's latest offering is revolutionary in its core and essence, as it promises a significant upgrade in performance and efficiency. Rahul Kulkarni, Amazon's Director of Product Management for Compute and Artificial Intelligence, said that these essential upgrades involve a staggering three times the compute and memory power of its predecessor. Not only that, but they also include a memory bandwidth 75 times larger and a fascinating 30% enhanced performance. Rahul has also added that, collectively, the chip delivers more price performance, which means for every dollar spent, customers will get significant improvements in performance, which will benefit Amazon a lot, as price value matters most. Amazon knows very well that the demand for chips is increasing in unimaginable ways, and they want to lead this sweeping wave. 
they are also fully aware that semiconductors now play an extremely vital role in the world economy, powering almost everything we use, from small devices to cars, AI applications, and countless other divisions. This booming industry is at the moment valued at an astounding $544 billion, and it's expected to significantly exceed this. As per the estimates, this market is expected to exceed a shocking $1 trillion in just nine years, which means an annual growth of $111 million. Insane numbers, right? Owing to this, hyperscalers such as Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft are all into this race fiercely, each creating their own custom chips, seeking self-sufficiency, all because they know that having a lead in such a race will literally send their revenues to unprecedented levels. Moreover, they also do this to meet their needs, cut costs, and fulfill their customers' requirements. Patrick Moorhead, AMD's past vice president, commented saying that all of these companies are spending a lot of money on developing chips. He carried on by saying that they won't talk about how much they're investing, but they have these giant R&D budgets. But what fueled the competition that much? And why are companies investing so much money in an industry already dominated by the tech giant NVIDIA? That's what we will find out now. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Amazon does uh, the design, they do the testing, they do the validation in-house themselves, as opposed to having an Intel, an AMD, or an NVIDIA do it. And that allows them, AWS, to lower their cost and pass that on to their customers. AWS has to make chips for their infrastructure. AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA have to make chips for everybody's infrastructure, right? As you might already know, NVIDIA is the biggest player in the AI chips market with more than an astonishing 80% share. And the firm remains the unmatched dominant of the AI chips market, yet NVIDIA is facing a huge problem that they need to tackle as soon as possible, which is the shortage in their supply capacity. NVIDIA has reached a level of dominance in which the demand has significantly outnumbered supply. In fact, this is the only obstacle preventing the firm from even further profit and revenue. Yet the huge demand on these chips is enough demand to support multiple competitors and fuel this race, according to Patrick Moorhead, who currently serves as CEO and Chief Analyst at Moore Insights and Strategy. And although the Graviton 4 is not an AI chip, it still supports AWS's Inferentia and Tranium chips, which are focused on the technology. It's also important to note that Tranium competes directly with NVIDIA's AI chips, which are regarded by many as the fastest and most powerful in the market. However, Rahul Kulkarni said that overthrowing NVIDIA from the throne of chip making is not Amazon's goal, saying that they are more interested in offering a good alternative to customers who are price value oriented. They also believe that such a strategy will help them take a giant slice of the rapidly growing market. Amazon's director went on saying that right now, if a customer is more focused on time to market, NVIDIA-based products that we offer are a great option. But on the other hand, there are customers for whom cost becomes a very prohibitive aspect of running their business. If they want to do more cost-optimized AI workloads like training or inference, then Amazon's Inferentia and Tranium products become a great alternative. Notably, there have been reports highlighting the hands-on, iterative process AWS engineers undertake to develop and refine their chip designs, combining hardware modifications with software-based performance testing and troubleshooting. Kulkarni even added that they can tune the product, tune the silicon, to just focus on things that really matter for customer workloads. Additionally, he stated that these techniques they follow in labs keep development costs as low as possible. So, what does all of this mean for Amazon stock? Let's find out. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make. So if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. Rohit, you, your top picks are Amazon and Uber. Starting with Amazon, we're about to get a lot of end of the year uh, software type platform conventions and announcements. Is that mm -hmm. a catalyst at all? Oftentimes people think it's not, but I look at Apple since WWDC. Anybody who sold it thinking that uh, AI news wasn't going to be a big deal is probably a bit disappointed. Uh, I think uh, Amazon gets uh, the reacceleration in cloud. Um, the uh, that's what expected in the stock right now. Uh, greater reacceleration with how they're playing catch up to Azure. 
the, the moment we start to have that narrative in the market that uh, Amazon is no longer an AI loser, that was the narrative in 23 and 24, that narrative is starting to reverse, they're playing catch up. That's uh, as more industry events, more AI events occur in the next three to six months, Amazon will host their own uh, big AI event in Vegas. So all of that should uh, contribute to greater uh, halo into how AI adoption is helping Amazon and they are setting themselves up for a very fantastic 25. AWS is focusing on creating innovative chips, and this is attracting attention from investors and analysts who see it as a significant factor in the company's future profitability and market position. Furthermore, Wall Street analysts' earning expectations are higher for AWS than cloud rivals Microsoft and Alphabet. And in the first quarter of 2024, AWS's profit margin reached a fascinating 38%. Patrick Moorhead added that AWS has a lot of credibility in the semiconductor space, and that 10 years ago, he had questions about how a company like this could do chips when you have companies investing multiple billions of dollars to do that. But they turned out to be very good at it. And this is why the analyst believes that there is a huge profit potential they can fulfill. So, as long as the chip-making industry is thriving, Amazon will thrive alongside, bearing in mind that they are keen on designing chips that are affordable compared to NVIDIA. And at this point, it is not even about delivering chips to customers. Furthermore, AWS's chips will be deployed offerings to power Amazon's own efforts, most prominently of which, a new large language model that will fiercely rival OpenAI's ChatGPT. Moorhead has also said that while the development of chips is expensive, it can lead to substantial savings in the long run. He also highlighted a very important point of strength in favor of AWS's chip, and that is, if you are buying a million chips a year, you will save $200 per each single chip. An enormous amount will be saved in the long run. This could attract many clients, bearing in mind that cost reduction policies are currently implemented by many institutions. In conclusion, Graviton 4 takes Amazon's offerings to another level, boosting its competitiveness. It could also help Amazon to increase profit margins through cost savings and efficiency gains and strengthen the company's leadership position in the tech world. So, the successful deployment and adoption of Graviton 4 will be a major growth driver for Amazon, positively influencing its stock in the future. Without a doubt, Amazon stock is a great buy at the current price. But, what do you think about Amazon stock? Is it a buy at the current price? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. And don't forget to tell us what your valuation for Amazon is. If you would like to know what companies like Amazon have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.